Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's David, this is David K Reacts, and today for the first time I'm going to be reacting to a Pentatonix video. Uh, this is the first time I've heard them in probably 12 years maybe? I don't know, it's been a very long time. Uh, I don't know why I haven't listened to them in so long, but I'm really looking forward to hearing what they sound like. Uh, I know this is not their original lineup, so it wouldn't be the group I was listening to back in the day. I know at least uh, Arvi has uh, changed, has, he left I believe five years ago uh, and has been replaced by Matt. Um, so I haven't actually heard this composition for Pentatonix at all, so I'm very interested to hear what they sound like now and to dig into their world. I will be doing more Pentatonix reactions in due course. Um, I'm looking basically to sort of bring groups in occasionally into my portfolio and then not, uh, you know, focus on a few of their start things over the next couple of months and bring someone else in a little later and, and not uh, spread myself too thin too quickly. Um, welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before, welcome back if you have. For those who haven't been here before, uh, basically what I do is I will react to a video, I'm going to watch it straight through, uh, no interruptions, although I will talk and, and em uh, emote and, and vocalize over the top of it, but I won't actually stop the video at all, it'll be a straight through reaction, and then I will go back and break it down and offer what insight I feel like I can, or just discuss it, whatever. Um, the video sort of says to me, uh, you know, how, and, and what I feel I can contribute. Um, so if you just want to watch the reaction, that's fine. You know, the first few minutes of the video are for you, and then I'll move on to other things. And if you'd like to be here for the whole thing, that's great too. Uh, I already have a portfolio of home free and voice play videos, along with a couple of others. Um, I'm not sure yet if this is going to come out before my second non a cappella, uh, or sorry, not one of my regular groups, uh, or whether it's going to come out before that, we'll see what my release order turns out to be. Um, but uh, if there isn't a second video that isn't one of the a cappella groups out right now, there will be very shortly. Um, on top of that, uh, I just wanted to say I look to release videos every Friday at 5 p.m. EST, and over the holiday season I'm hopefully going to be releasing more than that. My intention is to be doing two videos a week. We'll see how this goes, how it works with my work schedule, and so on. Uh, and lastly, if you enjoy my work, please do like this video and any others that you enjoy, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, if you'd like to, I have a Buy Me A Coffee page, buymeacoffee.com forward slash David K Reacts, and I would love it if you would head over there and donate to support the channel, of course, no pressure to do so. Pardon the cut there, I, uh, I'm working in the evening, and again, I have a colleague who's working late, so I was just dealing with my notifications to stop them popping up the whole way through. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, thank you very much to Sunny Outlook, who just bought me some coffees. I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, the very last thing, for those of you uh, who do know my channel, you'll recognize this probably uh, maybe from the, the lighting, if nothing else. I'm actually in a slightly different setup today. I'm recording elsewhere for a day, um, and so <laughs> for once I'm relatively well lit. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, you'll recognize in at least my older videos um, that uh, I'm not usually this well lit. I'm still working on the lighting situation in my basement studio. Uh, but anyway, I'm somewhere different today, uh, but um, hopefully going to fix that lighting going forwards. Anyway, without further ado, I realize that's like a, a streamer thing, a, a YouTuber thing we all say without further ado. I'm going to see if I can find something else to say. But without further ado, uh, let's dig into this Pentatonix video. I am very excited for this. I'm doing prayers for this world um, because it's their second most recent video. I thought about doing the most recent as I do it, kid... Uh, is it Kid for Christmas? Uh, is out. Um, but I wanted to react first of all to a video that was just them. And I know that Megan Trainer uh, is also singing with them in the newest video. So that's why I've chosen the second uh, most recent one. And I also wanted to do something recent rather than something older, just as a starting point. Um, but I will be probably all over the place in what I choose from now on in. I choose to, I sort of tend to go a little bit with a combination of recommendations and uh, what I feel like watching. Uh, so it. Uh, there's no real logic to my orders, but that's the reason I've chosen this video today. So, here is Prayers for This World. Oh, <laughs> I always do that. Other screen. Oh, I love this starting these visual. Hard times and these times. Feels like the world's about to capsize. Feels like it might take a miracle To make it out alive The clock is ticking 
What do we do? Is someone listening? Help us through. Pray for this world. Bring peace to its doors. Bring home to its shores. We've got to change it. The water imagery is really cool. Wow, there's a really strong message in this too. I like that. I love the use of imagery they've got here of the, the various different things we're coming Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Bring peace to its doors, bring hope to its shores. We've got to change it. Prayers for this world, bring winter its sails. It's gone off the rails. We've got to save it. Raise up our hands and wrap together. It's gotta be now, it's now or never. I love this cutting between them and shadow and them and light. That was going on there. Sorry, I caught the cable. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. At focus. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yes, I have. I'm not using my free. Uh, I don't have a free account right now. Um, uh, Ad free account, I should say. That's beautiful, and what a uh, a powerful message that song has. Um, I did actually notice just by chance uh, before I started this that somebody has posted the lyrics to it down below, and I I had a quick scan three seconds before I started this video, so I knew that it was going to be something powerful. But listening to that, wow, that's astonishing. Uh, and so right for the time, you know, this is right now we're at a point where there is so much wrong with the world and there is so much work we have to do to heal it. And I love that a group like they're a hundred thousand, well, le probably less than a hundred thousand, I should say fewer than a hundred thousand uh, subscribers away from 20 million. So to have a group with such a powerful voice singing something like this right now is extraordinary. And I, I seriously, I applaud that. That's wonderful. Um, this is beautiful. I love the sound. I love the visual. Um, I think they've made some really interesting choices with this video that, that really kind of uh, enhance it for me. Uh, and I, wow, that's astonishing. Just look, I'm scanning now that I've listened to it, I'm looking at the lyrics properly. Um, and I love what's, the, what's being said here. Um, what a wonderful, wonderful lines. Bring wind to its sails, it's gone off the rails, we've got to save it. Yeah. 
I mean, is there anything more accurate to state right now? Um, I... This is... Yeah, this is wonderful. It's so apropos for the moment. I mean, it's... I think it's apropos for all time, but particularly for this moment right now. Uh, and what better time than the holidays to have, you know, it's a time of coming together for so many people uh, in our families and in our individual groups um, where that is possible. Um, what better time to think about coming together as a much wider community and making, you know, starting to make these changes and differences that we might be able to make um, because there is no time like the present um, and I would say it almost has to be the present it must be the present and that's what they're saying in this song and I agree with it uh, I'm going to go back and break this down uh, and have a look at it in greater detail because there is so much going on here that I love um, so yeah let's let's start looking at it oh right I muted it well I got rid of the commercial whoops <laughs> I'm going to do one of my two second stops again. First thing, and this is throughout this video, I love the use of water and reflection from water. And then there's the imagery of like the water on the speaker cone, things like that. Water is a healing, it's the healing element, right? Um, but it's also an element that's always in motion. Uh, it offers hope. Uh, it offers so many different things that I think, you know, this song is is reaching out to. And I think the choice to go with water for this is absolutely perfect um i think it's a really good choice i also really like that we have this stunning first visual of not only do you have this you know the water beneath them and then this this gorgeous uh sort of pattern of reflection behind them but you've got five people standing you know fairly visible given that they're at a distance but then the shadows behind them as well almost implying more people and i think that's what i love the visual of this and i'll talk about this more as we go along but this visual that there are more people than just these five um it's both the truth because there are and the hope because they're trying to you know the message is to bring people together and to have this huge force for good in the world and i i think this is what an opening image this is great <laughs> These are high times and these times. That's a, it's such a beautiful intro and it's kind of, there is like a water quality to it, like uh, an element of sort of water droplets almost in that sort of dun 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 dun, dun, dun. It's, it's, there's a, you could almost see it as like a pattern of water falling. Um, and then this, this visual that we have as we start seeing them up close of the water, it's almost like you're seeing them, you know, you're just below the water or they're just below the water either which way and you're not seeing clearly yet um because their the, their voices are just beginning to be heard uh and i love that that's something that will progress throughout the video uh right now we're we're not seeing or hearing clearly because the message is only just beginning and that clarity will come as the message continues that's how i'm viewing it anyway I think that's a really cool idea. It's it's a little jarring too. Like it's it's almost it's not quite, but it's almost slightly uncomfortable to look at. Um, you know, I could see it, it's there's almost a, a, a slight sense of um, uh, you know being at sea, sort of feeling that that uh, slight discombobulation of of being at sea and not being entirely steady. And I think that's a, a really cool starting point for this video. Just going to go back a little bit. I'm just going to the top. These are hard times and these times Feels like the world's about to capsize Feels like it might take a miracle To make it out alive The clock is ticking Great use there by Kevin uh, of the incidentally I apologize if I get anyone's name wrong at any point I'm I'm sort of learning the group from scratch as we go I looked up photos and identified who was who quickly beforehand just so that I could I could recognize everybody um, but lovely use by Kevin there of atmosphere you've got this very very uh, it's an echo slightly distant beatbox rather than something it's not punching you in the face it's not right up front there's some space to it um, which again 
early in the message that's what you want but it also plays into this idea of you know water is something that can be just as simple as a cup of water or it can be a huge ocean it, it can imply space and i like the fact that he's using that space um in terms of the sound it also gives the vocal the beginning of this message more room to sort of breathe within the frequencies that they're covering and so it's it's a little bit more up front we pay more attention to it because what's in the background you know that's that's supporting and you don't focus on it quite so much and i really like that decision um and uh, scott's voice here is just gorgeous this this gentle plea um it's a it's a wonderful start just go back a little there we go these are hard times in these times feels like the world's about to capsize feels like it might take a miracle to make it out alive just before um uh mitch takes over here that i love the use of that ink as well the ink floating in water uh there's something very ephemeral about it it's um uh you know it's not very tangible it it flows it's got motion to it it's kind of a, a uh, there's a lot of different things that you could say that's an allegory for uh i think the way i'm viewing it right now i think it's just it i like that sense that you know it's something it disperses in water it spreads but it also becomes um uh it becomes thinner in terms of its texture like you don't the more it spreads into water the the less um you know it, it becomes more translucent it becomes p paler um and i think that, that that's that's sort of the nature of messages too right i'm i'm harping on a point here you might completely disagree with all of my uh, sort of what I'm taking out of this, but this is just how I'm seeing it. But a message will uh, become weaker the further it travels. The more the more people, the the more uh, you know. If I tell you it and you tell it to the next person, to the next person, to the next person, it's diluted by the time it gets. There we go, diluted. That's the word I was looking for. Um, it's diluted by the time it gets further away, and that's the whole thing of this is we've got to stop diluting this message and start getting it out. And I love the use of ink. Uh, it's such a cool uh visual it's something nice to start with because it it shows you that and they're going to reverse that later on um but it shows you that dissolution uh in this grand you know this this much wider thing so a message in uh in the population or in in water very cool anyway onwards <laughs> i love i think this is such a cool visual um because it just gives it's interesting it gives rhythm because of course the cone is responding to the music uh the cone of the speaker um so as that's vibrating the water that's on top of it is vibrating but it also the number of patterns that you go through with that it's just speaker and i mean it's sound right that's that's what's doing it it's sound and the uh sort of concurrent reverberation of the cone um is what's creating these patterns in the water and that's just awesome Take it out of life. The clock is ticking What do we do? Is someone listening? Help us through Breath of this world bring Oh, I love that. That's such a nice little section for um, for Mitch there. And I love this. He sails out the top with this wonderful help us through. The clock is ticking What do we do? Is someone listening? Help us through And it's the us it's not the the emphasis there i think is so interesting the emphasis isn't on the help the emphasis is on the us because we should all be doing the helping but it's us us is the important part of this message right it's it's us as a community as a group as a whole um that's a great focus just going back on that once more oh, to make it out of life. the clock is ticking what do we do is someone listening Help us through. Again, that faint clock in the background. It's not a. It's not in your face. It's just there, just ticking away. It's. It's just that. It's. It's a, this constant reminder of time, without because that's time, right? You don't sit there watching. I mean, sometimes you do, but day in day out, you don't sit there watching time go by. 
uh, it just does. And I love that it's just there in the background, just quietly ticking away, carrying on by. And then we come to this beautiful image of the ink surrounding this flower. Um, and now, you know, you've got a whole different set of visuals. You've got this really, really thick black encroaching onto the white. Um, this, this sort of uh, pure color of the flower being distorted by the ink coming in. Um, I'm not going to spend too long on my allegories because otherwise this video will end up being hours long. But I'm just, it's such a fascinating choice. And it's such, the, like going from the, the simple ink in water into something much more complicated that's going on here. There are so many patterns we can see just in this freeze frame alone. It's just great. So much use of light and shadow throughout all of this. I'll see if I can freeze frame a couple of things as we go. Um, I mean, here, for example. I mean, in this case, white and I guess it's black ink. Uh, of course, it goes slightly blue when you drop it into water a lot of the time. But white and black right here, you've got light. It's effectively light and shadow. This The light of the flower and the shadow of the ink overtaking. Here, this lovely thing of having Scott in lit clearly seen and yet other people i mean this looks to me like kevin and mitch uh but you can't see them they're shadows they're the people around scott who he's potentially talking to at this point it's such a great visual that again we've this is this first image again the light on them the shadow behind the light sort of spattering across the wall that's coming off the water so much use here of contrast again shadow in the water shadow in the in, you know the, the darkness covering up the white this is especially here where it's kind of creeping and moving around so much and in a way that water distortion on the screen is almost like a shadow because we can't see clearly through it it's not quite the same thing um, but again, contrast. Uh, I think the the use of contrast in this video is just extraordinary. And even here, we have this, you know, the speaker is black, and yet the water is reflecting all of this white light and the metal of the edge of the cone as well. But specifically in the water, there's all this white light being reflected all over the place, and even that and with this stark black background behind, you know, contrast. This is a really powerful contrast image right here. Oh, even there, the cloud, excuse me, the cloud's just there. Even there, light and darkness, like, it's, it's everywhere. It's, this is, oh, it's so good, the use in this video, it's so powerful. Um, I really love what they're doing with this. I think, and pray, pray for this world, we've got to save her. <laughs> yeah, like, that hits home so hard right now. Um, what a powerful powerful video this is this is it's just extraordinary what they're saying i realize i'm not talking much about the singing right now but there's so much else going on coming onto the singing now i kind of wanted to front load all of that because it, it permeates the entire video I love how they've mixed this because even here like we've got much more harmony coming in and yet it's still kept so back so that Scott is still standing way out front supported by Kevin here um, 
but you've got such uh, space between particularly Scott and everybody else, just allowing that voice to flow over the top. Um, and yet, at the same time, this gorgeous harmony filling in the background. Um, it's such an effective use of that. Um, it's really, really cool. Only like you fight the darkness. Only love can emanate. We gotta get us some love and light. So love can light the way. Ooh, nice little riff up from Kirsten. This... I think what's getting me about this is everything that's happening behind is so full. Like, there's no moment in this song where you don't feel like there's that immense depth of the sound that's going there. It's it's this full, powerful, flowing... It's like a string section of an orchestra. Really, really potent. And yet with that soloist standing out front, always clearly defined. Um, Kirsten's voice over those last few... Um, those last few lines is just stunning. I love the tone. Everyone's got such a clear tone. I think hers in particular, though. Um, that just It's just this beautiful sound. I love the tone, tenor of her voice. It's really, really pretty. And I think it's it's great for this section. You've got that um, that clarity and the, the height that separates her from um, the four men. And I think that's actually an interesting thing for me, of course, because the other two groups I'm reacting to so far are all male and so it's interesting having a female voice in there and she just sails above and that just it allows even more space they've already allowed it in the sound mixing and now they're adding an extra level by taking it that much separating it that much more in terms of the uh, musical distance between them and the uh, notes that are being sung in the melody and it's just fantastic just going back on that just wanna run it out. Yes. Oh, I love that. That tiny pullback there that just comes back into this beautiful, rich sound. That's gorgeous. And I love also this image of this flowing, the light of these white um, pieces of fabric just flowing around them is such a powerful image. It also must, must have been quite a challenge to feel like this shot right here. This cut's just like fabric. Uh, <laughs> I can see this being quite a challenge to film in. I also love this visual where we've had this flower just drop a petal earlier on and now it's kind of, you've got this reverse effect where all the snow is coming back onto it um, and covering it and you've got white on white and there again is a contrast because the two whites are not the same but the contrast isn't so stark this time in terms of what's in the foreground. Sure, you've got the stem but it's the white against the black. And now you've got two different whites in this light at the front. And then the darkness of the background just really pushing this forward. The, the, again, contrast, contrast, contrast seems to be the, the name of the game for this video. And it's great. So love can light the way. The also the cutting. Like when they're taking away from the vocals, how many cuts were just in there? Love can light the way. I think there were five different cuts there in less than a second. It's very there's a lot of sudden motion that happens. They're very steady on the vocalists, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're back onto something a bit more steady again. It's very powerful. It catches the eye, um, and it tells you we're going somewhere, and you're not quite sure where you're going because it's like it's not stopping for even though it's only five, you know, it's only a second long. The fact that you're cutting through so much to get there is actually an extremely powerful technique, I think. So love can light the way The clock is ticking Turn out and out That's, I love there, time's running out Like, again, emphasis, the choice of where 
everything is being emphasized. It's so strong here because it is, it's landing, time's running out. That's the bit you have to pay attention to. Time isn't running fast. It's not running continuously. It's not, you know, it's not doing anything else. It's running out. And so that's the big note of that moment. It's great. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep banging this. I do apologize. Uh, this setup is not quite as conducive to a free space around me as my usual one. But yeah, that's great. Again, I love this. There's this interesting use of time. Um, they've just said time is running out, and yet you have these moments where something suddenly slows down for a second, and it, it's it's almost like a focus. Um, like there, we've gone from seeing this ink move quickly to suddenly shifting slowly for a second before it carries on again. And I think their use of they're changing what we're looking at now. We're not seeing this constant motion we're seeing some things come back like the snow coming back onto the plant we're seeing some things go one way and then the other there was a drop there um that reversed itself down onto the speaker cone before all of a sudden there was a pop and you you had this whole jump of the water and they're giving us this it's it's like we're pausing for a moment to say let's talk about this it's so cool i'm oh this ah this is so well thought out <laughs> I'm just, I'm really enjoying this. This is really well done. So many nice things there. Firstly, I absolutely love um, Matt's voice there. I think that the what's so nice is they've chosen distinct solo voices for different stages of this thing, and so all the solos are separated. One of the things it's it's interesting because it's a contrast to me. One of the things I love so much, particularly about um, I've I've commented on it mostly about voice play is how well sometimes they can change from soloist to soloist and you change the voice quality but the pitch the register you're not getting a huge amount of change there and so it's got this lovely blend what's so interesting about this video is they've chosen to do it in such a way that you're getting very very distinct um differences between the soloists you can you know i, I don't know the voices well enough because this is the first time i'm listening to them in so long but you could easily tell who's singing at any given moment um, it's very differentiated and it's giving these different moments to breathe that's that's so powerful. I love the pause that we just had there where everything drops out for a second. I've talked about those before in my reactions. I love those moments as long as they're well used and that is so well used. Um, especially then cutting when we come back in with this lovely quieter section to this extremely contra- and this is, this is the biggest- this is what made me sort of clock contrast was this shot right here and the subsequent shots where you can see the singers clearly is this is so potent because all of a sudden they are nameless figures um they're not these five clear faces they're shadows in a crowd they're shadows in the light that's around them and that that you know they've they've almost become the people the message is going out to uh, and then when they're back in the light again, it's the people telling the message. And I, I really love the visual that they've got going on here. This is this is so powerful. Also, that's extraordinary. I don't know quite how they've achieved that, but this having this. I'm not sure if that's just the the reflections on the water that they're using there, but that kind of flashing behind. It's kind of, it's fascinating because it catches your eye and it almost draws you away from Matt for a second. Um, 
which is interesting because he's obviously the focus at that moment and yet you've got this thing distracting you going around uh and it's it's interesting because it gives the eye something totally different to what we've been experiencing up to this point uh it's an interesting choice I so love you have that moment of just seeing Matt there, just for a moment, head down, eyes closed, just in in true thought um, and introspection before we break back out into this. It's That's such a strong visual to cut to at the end of that, and then to cut away from into this now. got to go back on that section but i love here everything's getting more frenetic um the visuals are getting more frenetic the cuts are getting more frenetic it's like we we've broken away from that moment of peace we had with this shot in the background before we uh cut to mitch so here at the frenetic is around them it's this this fabric blowing around them but they're so still and until that last oh, starts coming out, everything's very quiet and contained and still. And now it just picks up the pace. Got to change it. Press for this world. Bring winter itself. I love that boom, 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 boom coming in underneath them. That's such a gorgeous, gorgeous bass line there. Um, I love that coming in, filling out that space and telling us we're about to go somewhere as we continue uh, with what Mitch is singing. And now see, we're cutting less than a second each time. We're cutting to a different shot. It's much more frenetic than it was beforehand. And then the lightning comes, you know, it breaks up that image that we had beforehand. We're getting this forward and reversal of time again, like in this image right here. There's so many different elements coming together and building up as we hit the climax of the song. This is, this is so good. Oh, yes, Scott. So, I love the breadth that they've got going on here. This is so good. You've got that lovely, lovely uh, top line coming out from Kirsten there. You've got Matt right down in the base giving us much more of a, um, uh, you know, that sort of depth. Uh, I think deeper than we've had through most of the song. I haven't necessarily been keeping track of that quite as well. I One thing I will say for those who, who haven't seen my work before, I catch on the first video is much more about me learning what a group does. Same thing happened with Home Free um, when I brought them in, uh, having been reacting to voice play beforehand. Uh, it's it's always interesting, sort of catching into different styles and things like that. And so this is that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Um, but I love this breath. They've got this really really wide sound, um, and it's just it's so great because you it's it is just this wall um, of music, and it's just stunning. <laughs> And then just finishing on that distant string. Um, sounds like a low violin, I would guess. 
uh, or a viola, but just that distance sing string sound just disappearing as we go. That is so strong. I just want to go back one more time on that ending. And I love that throughout the song we've had this oh, 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 as like this sort of rallying cry and now it's become, it sounds so wide, it sounds, you know, like it could be the sound of a hundred voices singing it or a thousand voices singing it and it's kind of become, it's, it's almost anthemic uh, in the sense of it's just this thing that, you know, if you're carrying this message out there, everybody can sing this sound behind and fill in. Um, this this wonderfully wonderfully powerful uh, vocal image that we've got going on here. I love it. And we leave not seeing the singers. Our final image is that shadow, the five shadows walking away from the light behind them. Uh, as more of the masses go on to convey the message to yet more. I love this. 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 That is such a great video. Um, and like I say, so apropos of the moment in so many different ways. Um, I am so, so impressed. That's a quality sound. I really enjoy that. Um, something different. I don't know. I have no idea how typical that is of a contemporary pentatonic sound because I have no idea, you know, what that sounds like. I will discover that over the next couple of months for sure. Um, but what a beautiful way to start my dive into their work. I was really impressed with that. And um, there is just so much depth and uh, the harmonic detail that they've got in there uh, combined with the counterpoint of these contrasting support melodies that are going on in the background. It's just stunning. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. That's a great, great song. Uh, and what a powerful visual to go with it. Um, yeah, that's great. That's that's really, I feel quite uh, touched and invigorated by having watched that. Uh, as a call to action goes, pretty damn good one. Well, thank you very much for, for watching with me, uh, particularly if you're still here at the end of my analysis. I hope that uh, I was able to bring some form of interest to that. Um, I really appreciate it. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you'd like to, head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash David K Reacts if you'd like to donate to help the channel. Uh, it would be gratefully appreciated. Um, for those of you who are new, my goal is to try and reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Should have probably said that at the beginning of the video so that people who just want to watch the reaction also hear it. But uh, do please join my community if you would like to. I'm, I keep saying it. I'm part of a much wider community that I'm so grateful to be a part of. And I would love to have you along for my journey uh, as well as all the other journeys that are going on around me. Um, because it truly is fantastic. I, I'm so... Uh, I'm so grateful to be a part of this community because everybody has just been so welcoming and encouraging and supporting and um, so eager for me to listen to their favorite piece. And please do send me uh, recommendations if you like. I would love to know what else of Pentatonics, you know, what's, what's my trajectory with them because there's so much to cover for them. Uh, I don't know what my situation is with regards to how many videos I'll get in before Christmas. I would like to do another Christmas song of theirs if I can. Um, but I do have some other things lined up, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'm really interested to dig into them more and to hear more of their work. Um, and, uh, you know, both new and old. Uh, I'm not just doing contemporary reactions. I just chose to do something recent for this one. But I love listening to old, you know, they've got such a huge portfolio by now. Uh, I love listening to old work as well. So, yeah, any recommendations gratefully received. Just be aware that my list is gargantuan already. Uh, and so I will get to things as I can. Um, but for now, I think that's going to be everything. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, as I say. And uh, yeah, uh, there'll be another video coming out soon. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, wherever you are, whatever time it is when you're watching this. And thank you so much for joining me for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.